Hey guys, so today I'm here with my November favorites and I am so happy that November is over because December is my all-time favorite month. Not just because Christmas is in December, but because my birthday is in December as well, so I'm super excited. I love December. So, like I said, yeah, I'm happy that November is over and I'm so stoked to be filming this favorites video for you guys. I don't know if you can tell, I can kind of tell I'm getting a little bit sick. I'm not happy about it, knock on wood that I don't get any sicker, um, I can just feel it, it's like congestion, like up and through here, so it's not cute. Also, I have a pug on my shirt, so today's going to be a good day. So yeah, with that being said, let's get started on my favorites. I have quite a few favorites as I always do, so I'm going to go ahead and get started with the beauty favorites. I will start with face, like always. I have really been liking a new bronzer, and I actually, I'm kind of crazy now, I use like three bronzers at once and it still doesn't even look like I have bronzer on. I contour with two different bronzers. I still love my Hoola from Benefit and I still use my NYC Sunny bronzer like down my neck to kind of blend everything out but I have found a new bronzer that I have incorporated into my getting ready routine. I'll probably film a get ready video with me soon uh, since I haven't filmed one in a while and I mostly contour the cheek the cheekbones with this bronzer and I really like it. And it's like a baby size of the Too Faced Chocolate Soleil bronzer. I literally love this. It's a little dark for me, um, but I like it a lot because it's it's dark enough that I can contour right here and it just looks really chiseled and nice and it doesn't do everything that Hoola does for me. So or it does more than what Hoola does for me. So I really like this bronzer. I love that it smells like chocolate. I, I'm still a firm believer that they just took Nesquik powder and just like melted it into this because it literally smells like Nesquik and yeah, it's just a really nice bronzer. Again, this is the small size so the bigger size is a little bit larger. This is just like a little takeaway. But I really like this bronzer for right here and it's definitely been a new favorite this month for me. Another face favorite this month, you guys have probably already seen it in one of my holiday reviews. This is probably, this is the only product in this favorites that's in a holiday review. And and it is the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Palette. I have gotten so much use out of this palette. You probably can't even tell because it looks it still looks brand new. I've gotten so much use out of it because I use it literally every single day with a highlighter on top of that because I still love like super highlighting my face. But I use all three of these colors. I start with this color and this is the dim light and I put this like any imperf like on any imperfections and mostly I get them around here so I like to put it right in here and on my forehead. I take the middle color, the incandescent, and highlight my face with it. And then I take the last color, which is radiant light, and I kind of contour just a little bit more. Um, and it just kind of like warms up my face a little bit. And I use this in conjunction with a highlighter. I love it. This is just the most beautiful palette in the world. And I, I use it every single day, so it's definitely a favorite. The last two face products that are favorites this month kind of go together, so I wanted to mention them together. I believe I've mentioned them in a favorites video before, um, but I don't know if I've mentioned them the way I'm going to now. Um, I have been wearing, well not today, gosh I don't even know why, today I wore like a really basic blush color because I'm wearing purple eyeshadow, but I have been wearing just a lot of basic looks on my eyes lately because I love the whole bold lip look, so I like to kind of play up my cheeks as well, and I have been sort of playing around with blushes and I have been combining them, and I've never done that before, and I started doing it and I really like it. So the two blushes that I love to combine together is the NARS Orgasm Blush. This is the little duo, but I use the NARS Orgasm, bl Orgasm <laughs> Blush that is in this duo. It's a beautiful little like peachy pink gold shade, I put this on first, and then I take the Benefit Rockateur Blush uh, Box Powder, and I put this on top of it, and both of them together just make this really nice rose gold kind of cheek, and it's just really pretty, and it's just something that kind of like really amps up your face, and I think that this has kind of just made my blush more prominent, and I just really like it, so it's something I've really been enjoying doing this month as well. Now moving on to eye favorites. The first eye favorite I guess could be considered an eyebrow favorite. I recently started using it this month. Um, it's from Anastasia and it's the Brow Wiz Pencil. I was using the Perfect Brow Pencil from Anastasia and I really liked it and I didn't think I would like the brow is as much as I liked that, but after using this all month, I have been in love with it. It's just, it's so easy to create brows. I know my brows are so much darker than my hair and that's because my brows are naturally dark and my hair is naturally light, I believe. It was because I was born with dark hair, so my brows were naturally dark. But then my hair started lightening over the year, like lightening over the years, I guess you could say. And my brows stayed the same color. So my brows are a lot darker than my hair, but I like it. And it's just kind of nice because I can always just dye my hair dark and 
claim it's natural. So yeah, I have the Brow Wiz Pencil and Brunette, and I love it. It's just it's so easy to create brows for me now. Like these are not like the, my brows don't naturally look like this. I swear to you, um, my brows are like from here to here. Like I have like the shortest brows ever, and I've just been like lengthening them. And it's just it's so easy to create a shape with this pencil, and I love it. And if you've never tried it, I suggest you try it. It is worth it. It's just, it's a good brow pencil. Again, like with the blushes, my last two eye favorites are sort of like a combined look that I have been doing a lot in November. And I've really been liking it. It's so pretty. So I'll probably definitely do a get ready a video with me because um, a lot of these products are incorporated into it. But what I do with my eyes lately is I've been taking the Urban Decay Eyeshadow in X, which I showed you in my haul video, which was my last video. Again, just an opalescent, orangey gold, peach color. It's it's beautiful like I have to focus in on it just so you guys can see like this is what it looks like like it's so beautiful I've been putting this all over my lids and in the crease I've actually been using my self-made little Sephora palette you can make these you can buy the little individuals and put them in here and I've been using this dark shade in the crease and I'll pop this out so I can show you guys I don't even know the name of this to be honest so I've been using this shade in the crease. It has a name. I know it does. It says on here number 46, but I'm pretty sure it's called like Secret Boudoir or something like that. It's like a cranberry purple shade. I've been putting this in the crease and really, really liking it. And it just kind of creates like a soft, easy, kind of golden-y eye that's really like, it kind of looks natural, which is something I really like. So I've been loving these two colors for my eyes. And it just looks really, really pretty and I've really been liking it. And then my last two beauty favorites are lip product favorites. The first one is kind of more of a bold lip that I've been wearing a lot. And you guys have probably seen it a lot in my videos. And it's from Hourglass. And it's the mini size of the Hourglass. I believe it's their Opaque Liquid or Opaque Rouge Liquid Lipsticks and this one is their most popular shade and it's an icon which is just like a really nice dark red shade. It just creates like the perfect matte lip stain on your lips and it looks beautiful and it doesn't dry out your lips either which is something I really like because lip stains typically dry out your lips and this one doesn't dry them out too much for me um, but I've really been loving this it's a red color I and then my last beauty favorite is another lip product and this is a MAC lipstick that I've been getting a lot of use out of this month and it is called Plum Dandy and it is a frost and it's just this really pretty kind of duo chromey purpley pink like it's so pretty and kind of reminds me it definitely reminded me of fall so whenever I would wear sort of like any sort of dark lip eyelid look like I would wear like greens or gold I would wear this on the lips and it would just kind of create like a whole fall look and it just looked really really pretty so I wore this a lot in November and I really really liked it. That is it for my beauty favorites and now onto my random favorites. I have two random favorites this month and they are both TV shows. If you guys don't know I am a huge TV show addict. I kind of like I collect TV shows like I collect makeup and I follow them and I, I love TV shows. So I recently found two new TV shows that I absolutely love. The first one is one that I found on Netflix, and I just finished the first season, like, yesterday. And if you want to watch it, the first season is on Netflix, and it's The Carrie Diaries. I I never got into Sex and the City. I never did. I mean, you know, E! would always have those, like, marathons, and I would catch, like, one or two shows. But I never really got into Sex and the City. So... I don't know why. I, well, I know why I started watching Carrie Diaries because I, I personally I love Anna Sophia Robb. She has the same birthday as me. I mean, she's a year older than me, but she, we have the same birthday. So we're one, you know? Like, we are one. So I wanted to watch it because I love her and because I saw previews for it and Austin Butler. Austin Butler. <laughs> he is just... Oh, he is just... Vanessa Hudgens gets all the cute guys, doesn't she? Like, oh my god, he is a piece of work. So, yeah, I really love him. So, uh, I watched the first season, and I really like it. I think it's a really cute show. It's it's definitely different than, like, the typical, like, Disney Channel teenage shows. It's it's a little it's a little good it's a little good it's great I love it so I'm gonna start watching the second season I just have to find it online somewhere but I definitely suggest if you have Netflix and if you haven't watched the Carrie Diaries watch the Carrie Diaries it's awesome Austin Butler is gorgeous and I want him to myself next TV show that has definitely been a favorite this month um, I don't know if you guys know this but I am had like a really really guilty pleasure of the bad girls club I'm obsessed with that show it's been my favorite show for a re like a very long time and I follow one of the bad girls club tumblers and one of them was tweet or not tweeting one of them was posting these like I mean, just posting stuff. I don't know what I'm saying. They're just posting posts about um, how season five, the girl Morgan on season five, she got kicked out really early. She is on a new show on VH1 called Miami Monkey, and I didn't like Morgan in her season. I liked Leah a lot, 
So I didn't really want to watch it because I was like, eh, I don't like Morgan. But I decided to start watching Miami Monkey because they put a link on their Tumblr to like an online place that you can watch the show. So I started watching it. I really like it. I really, really like it. It's it's basically about a bar and just a group of girls from Staten Island that come down to Miami and just open this bar with a bunch of Miami locals and Morgan's there. And I really like Morgan. I really like her. If you're interested in watching it, I'll put the link to where I watch it down below as well. It's a good show. I believe the person that runs it, Big Ange, is from like Mob Wives or something like that. I've never seen that before. So if you are into that, you might like the show too. I don't know. I just It's another favorite of mine. So Miami Monkey and The Carrie Diaries are like my two favorite shows this month and I'm obsessed with them. Alright guys, that's it. That's the end of my favorites. I know if you guys are avid favorites watchers, you guys know that I always do a giveaway at the end of my favorites videos the past three or two favorites, I believe. I'm actually not going to be doing one this month, and I apologize. I want to start doing them when I'm prepared to do them, because I have not been prepared to do the giveaways. I literally, I do the giveaway, I have the prizes, but I don't have the shipping materials, and I'm not able to ship out the prizes. So I want to be able to have all the shipping materials and be able to ship the prizes right away instead of waiting a few weeks, because I just feel really bad that people have to wait on their prizes. So I'm not going to be doing a giveaway this month. Expect another favorites giveaway in January, because I don't do a December favorites. I do like a year early favorites. So expect another favorites giveaway in January. Again, I apologize about that if you waited this whole video for the giveaway and it's not here. <sighs> but yeah, I'm sorry. That's it for my favorites videos. I hope you guys enjoy and check out those shows. You guys will love them. I know you will. So yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye guys.